Hi students, welcome. In today's class, we are discussing about construction in a parabola by using tangent method. Clear? So here, in generally the tangent method, it's it's also called triangle, triangle shape, triangle method. Okay. So for example, in a garden, water fountain, a jet of water strikes. Clear? So the jet of water means the nozzle. So the provided the nozzle, it makes an angle, certain angle. So from that nozzle, the high velocity of water leaves. It's nothing but jet. Jet it leaves at maximum. It reaches the maximum distance and it falls on the ground. So therefore, from the uh, at maximum distance, you draw one vertical line to the ground. So from that point to the starting point, how much distance is there? half of the base it's 100 percent equal to another half so from base of that parabola so it reaches from here certain angle means it reach maximum distance then it's fall so therefore from center that distance both are equal clear yeah. so this is the tangent method clear yeah. or otherwise in sometimes they call triangle method okay so let us assume a question draw a parabola of base 70 mm clear so instead you draw a parabola of base 70 mm and tangent of the base end at an angle of 60 degree draw a parabola clear so this one so first what we want to do means the base 70 so it is tangent method is it forms a one triangle shape clear so therefore this is that it is a rough diagram so this is the base of that parabola the size is 70 mm and this one is axis so this is the this angle makes an angle how much 60 degree at base end so here also 60 degree and here also 60 degree clear that's all so let us assume here one water jet clear the water jet the water is loose okay so it reaches maximum and fall so therefore this one is parabola so construction of this parabola by using triangle method or tangent method yeah so first you draw 70 so from here to here 70 a and b 70 so this is middle one and you draw that axis yeah next you take 60 degree line at both ends so base end means so two ends are there A and B. Clear? Yeah, that's all. So from here to here, like this, approximate distance. Let us assume. Clear? Yeah, that's all. So from here, sixty degree. So you place that one. So this is sixty degree. Similar case here also 60 degree. So this is 60 degree, no? So 60 degree line. So the 60 degree line where it is meets here. So here. Understand? So the axis is perfectly coincide here. Yeah. So this one. Yeah, so this one. 
So the angle is 60 degree. So this angle 60 degree. For both ends. So therefore it is 60. Here 60 degree means beyond here also 60 means it is equilateral triangle we get in this case. Clear. We got 60, 60, 120, here also 60. Clear. Next thing, after completion of this, we want to draw first this this is A and this one is B and this one is let us consider as O. So the OA distance 100 percent equal to OB distance, and you know that. This one is 17. Yeah. So the OA distance you divide into n equal parts. For example, how many equal parts? 8 equal parts. Yeah. You know the procedure. So let us consider this is a line OA. So you draw an inclined line at any angle with OA. So you take some x radius 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 equal parts. So you take n number of equal parts, doesn't matter. Choice is ours. Okay. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, like that. So after that, you draw line joining the last and last. Clear. So line joining last and last. After that, you draw the parallel lines from last to first. Okay, finally you got finally you draw uh, you know the already you know the procedure from last to okay. so automatically you draw the lines parallel to 4 to 8 from 7 6 like that finally it reaches here So we get that number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And next thing, same this side, but no need to same procedure, just very simple. Okay, you draw the horizontal line where it is intersecting this one. You draw the line here, clear this one, this one. Like this. Okay, no. that's all. So now, so here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four. See, but in this side, opposite direction. Here one, two, three, four. Last thing here one, two, three, four, downward direction. So one, two, three, four, five. 6, 7. Clear. So here base 1 here from apex 1. So that's After that, you join 1 and 1, 2 and 2, 3 and 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Opposite side. Clear. You join that one. So 1, this one and that one. So the 1 and 1, you join it. From one, one. Next thing, two, two. Next, three, opposite side, three. Next, four, four. Next, five. Six, six, and seven, seven.
seven sir. Clear? So if you have taken n number of vehicle parts means okay. So already now the curve is appears. Just you will see that the curve is appears. So here only we are considered eight equal parts, for example. But if you have taken n number of equal parts means okay, automatically the curve exact curve is clearly formed. No need to draw once again. Clear? Right. So now, so this is the point one. So here intersecting. So so here to here the intersection point here to here. So we consider as midpoint. Here to here the intersection. Here, here to here, like that, and this one. Next to from here to here. If you have taken more number of parts, equal parts means no problem. Similar case from this side. So you join all the points, including so this point is considered as vertex B. So this is the parabolic curve. Yeah. And same procedure in the same problem. For example, each and every line is nothing but tangent only. So separately, if you uh, draw tangent on normal anywhere means any one line you consider as you show that it is a tangent. For example, so already one line is there. One, for example, here also. So it's anywhere they mention means let us consider this here touch contact. So let us consider the six six dash is a tangent. So perpendicular line for six six dash you consider as it is normal, clear? Because it is it's already the name of the curve method is tangent method only. So each and every line you consider as a tangent, clear? Or otherwise apart that one specifically they mention draw tangent at normal. From a distance thirty mm from vertex. Okay, so here means the thirty mm. So from here to here thirty mm. For example, here to here thirty mm. After getting this, you will draw one horizontal line, either left side or right side. So specifically, they mentioned means the problem. So you draw tangent on normal at a distance thirty from vertex. They clearly they mentioned means. How to draw the procedure? So thirty they mention. For example, from vertex or always from directrix they given. What else may be here? Like this they given means first on the axis you locate the point yes. For example, some alphabets. Then that yes point where it is. From that yes you draw one horizontal line. Either it is a left side or right side. Okay. So for example, I draw left side. So from yes. The S point is as per the given dimension. From here, so you draw one horizontal line. That horizontal line where it is intersecting on the curve. That is, let us consider point P. So in that specific point P, you want to draw tangent and normal. Okay, same procedure. Yeah. So P to S distance how much is there? Thirty. So same thirty distance. You take it. So from same thirty distance, you take from vertex to here. This is. Already know in the rectangle method, for construction of parabola in rectangle method, same ditto procedure. Instead of rectangle, here triangle shape. That's all. Okay. So V S, V S distance is equal to V T distance. V S distance is equal to V T. After that, you join T, T, and P. Okay. That is the. Tangent and it is extended. It will be extended. Okay. After that, so this is P, T dash. It is tangent. Okay. Next, perpendicular line of T T dash. It is nothing but normal. Okay. Can end dash. Any where means already any one line and section line you consider as tangent and draw normal. Specifically, they mention means you plot the point S. 
you project it up to the curve by horizontal line parallel to the base okay that consider some letter okay from that point you will draw tangent and normal by using this procedure clear right okay students so this is the method of construction of parabola by using tangent method or triangle method okay in next video we go for in another conic section diagrams thank you